everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Courtney. What is that? Oh, I bet I've got that through the whole tutorial, that mark. Please excuse that. This is a look that I came up with today. Um, really bronze really bronzy it's completely getting me in the mood for my holiday which i'm going on next week can't wait um but if you would like to see how i achieved this look then please keep watching hi so i've already prepped my eyebrows i've prepped my eyes um i'm gonna go on i'm gonna do the eyes first only because i'm using glitter and it like falls out and all that um so the eyeshadows i'm using today is my little mini makeup geek palette thing and I'm going to be taking these three shades here this shade here and this is called chickadee take that on my morphe 217 brush and I'm literally just going to apply that to the crease it's like a sort of mustardy colour <laughs> Then going in with my Spectrum B06 brush, I'm just going to, with like no product on, just going to sort of blend that out. Next I'm going to take Poppy, which is this colour here, and I'm going to take that on my 228 Lux Crease brush from Zoeva, and I'm just going to put that in the crease. Then I'm going to take the shade Morocco from Makeup Geek and use the 231 Lux Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva and just focus that really in the crease. I've just gone in with that Lux Crease Brush again just to make sure everything's blended out nicely. And then going back into Chickadee and just lightly diffusing that so to cut the crease I'm going to take my anti-age so to cut the crease I'm going to take my anti-age eraser from Maybelline um, and it's in the shade light and I'm just going to take a cheapy flat brush and just put it on the lid and look up And then I'm just gonna drag it down and pat it. So I'm gonna go in and take Chickadee on my 234 Look Smoky Shader brush from Zoeva and set that concealer. Then spraying this flat brush with Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I'm going to take a loose pigment from Peaches and Cream. This one is the shade Famous and it's just like a coppery sort of colour. And I'm just going to apply that where I applied that concealer. And I'm literally just going to pack it on. And then going back in with my 228 Lux Crease Brush, I'm going to take Morocco again and just tap that over and then with that flat brush I'm literally gonna take it like this and sort of just like drag that glitter just so there's not like a harsh just so there's not a harsh line lashes today I'm gonna take the Adele wispy I'm gonna take my my duo glue and I always just put it on the back of a brush and once that's drying I'm just gonna clean this area up with my makeup wipe I'm just gonna clean that up for primer today I'm gonna take the professional from benefit and just apply that in the center of my face I need to get some more of this stuff or 
for my holes to my T-zone area. High points of my face, I'm gonna take my MAC strobe cream and this is just the original one. And then I'm just gonna apply that to the like high points of my cheeks. apply that lash and I'm just applying it with some tweezers do not I am not advertising or saying apply put tweezers near your eyes I'm not saying that. why aren't you sticking a struggle of when you don't cut your eyelashes to match your eyes I might just leave that and like hope for the best. It's not really on, but you know. For foundation today, I'm gonna take Super Stay 24 Hour Full Coverage from Foundation from Maybelline. I'm just gonna square that on the back of my hand. And this is in the shade Caramel Beige. To apply that, I'm gonna take the Zoeva Buffer Brush. So when this video gets posted, I will be in Cornwall. I'll be in Cornwall on my holes. Hopefully vlogging it so I can post it on here. This is an anti-age anti concealer from Maybelline. And I'm just applying that under my, under my eyes. Out of my nose, down my nose, and on my bod. So taking my damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend that all out. So Obviously, I'm going on my holidays. Well, I'm on my holidays right now, but I'm posting this like the Saturday before. No, I'm filming this the Saturday before and I'm going on the Thursday. So it's currently, I think it's like the 20th today. I think it's the 20th and I'm going on the 26th. So on Wednesday, so I'm going on Thursday, on Wednesday, I'm going obviously get my hair done and oh, get my hair done and bits and pieces. So I'm just putting a bit more on because I just want to, you know, cake my face a bit. Doing like a holiday prep, I think, video. I'm only getting like my nails done and my hair, you know, like my eyebrows done because I'm desperately need of it. So I'll try and post that this week. Next I'm going to go in with my translucent powder from Laura Mercier. Translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to set my under eye with that. Just so to cream contour today I'm actually going to go in with my contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, it's like gross. But um, I haven't used this in ages, so I thought I'd use it. Um, so I'm just gonna take this shade here. Like, it's so gross. Like, they go on quite muddy if they're not like dampened a bit. Like, if you put oil and stuff in them, like, it, they, they apply so much nicer. So I'm just gonna a bit of my Mario Badescu facial spray in them, just so it applies a bit better, because they go on dead dry and they're really hard to blend out. And this is just like a brush I got from like one of the Lancome, Lancome, it's not what they're called, Lancome eyeshadow palettes. It just, this is like the brush that came with it. I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna bring it down and then flare it up. I 
I'm going to be quite bronze, so I'm going to put quite a bit on. I'm going to spray my face with some Mario Badescu face or spray just to make sure it like blends out really nicely. And I'm going to go in with my MAC brush and just sort of flare it all up. And going back in with my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to make sure all of that is blended out nicely. So I just sort of tap around it, blend out my nose contour. That I'm going to go in with my Maybelline 24 hour super say waterproof long wear matte powder and this is just a bare minerals um powder brush and i'm just gonna lightly tap that all over the face to contour today i'm gonna take my anastasia beverly hills light to medium contour palette these two shades here And with this cheapy Jamie brush, I'm just gonna bring it down and then blend, like, buff it in. To contour my nose, I'm gonna just take this shade here and I'm gonna contour with my Brown Line 322 brush from Zoeva. And I literally, I'm just gonna do blend that out I'm just going to take this angle fluffy brush take my NYX eye pencil um, slide on glide on stay on definitely turn on waterproof extreme shine <gasps> eyeliner in the shade glycerin gold I think it is and I'm just going to apply that to my waterline And then going in with Chickadee on that on that MAC brush again, that 217 MAC brush again. I'm just going to smoke that underneath. My 227 so Look Soft to Find a Brush from Zoeva. I'm going to take Poppy again and just again buff that out and then taking my benefit their real mascara i'm just gonna put that on the lashes <laughs> making faces again this one's running out. I'm gonna have to get a new one. And then for the inner corner and the brow bone, I'm just gonna spray my this like little bullet brush. And I'm gonna go into my Ofra highlighter in the shade Blissful and just pop that on the inner corner. And then also spraying my highlighter brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to go in to Blissful and just go also put that on all the high points as well, just because I want to be extra glowy. And then for lips, I'm going to take my Rimmel Lip Pencil in the shade Spice. My favourite. And then for lips today, I'm going to take my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline and just apply that to the lips. Ah. 
And then for blush today, I'm gonna to take this like shimmery brush from Makeup Geek, and this is in the shade Romance. And that is the finish look. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see any more future tutorials slash videos from me, please subscribe. Um, I'm gonna try and, as I said in the tutorial, I'm gonna try and post twice a week. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.